Hi, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how you can make a simple one transistor inverter. The input can be anywhere from 4 to 12 volts. The circuit is connected as shown. The 470 resistor is it has a wattage of at least 1 watt. So the transistor should be an NPN type. You can use the TIP42, which can easily handle about 5 amperes. So the primary and the feedback windings are connected as shown with if you wind all the windings in the same direction P1 and P2 will be the primary terminals and F1 and F2 will be the feedback terminals and observe the way they are connected so the primary winding is connected across the from the input positive to the correct of the transistor and the feedback winding is connected from the input of the power supply through this system and to the base of this transistor the traditional interference stabilizes the footage at this point here so initially the base of the transistor will be biased by the current flowing from the 12 volts rail through the 470 ohms resistor through the feedback winding in F1, in F2 through the 22 ohms resistor and to the base of the transistor the transistor will begin conducting and this will allow current to flow through the primary winding it will provide positive feedback to the transistor through the feedback winding and the base would be more biased during the transistor to turn on fully and allowing a branch current to flow through until the core of the transformer is saturated. When this happens, current will cease to increase and the magnetic field will begin collapsing, which will reduce a negative bias to the base of the transistor. So this will cause the transistor to turn off very fast and all the energy stored in the core will be transferred to the secondary side. Then the process will repeat over and over again many hundreds or even thousands of times per second depending on the inductance of the feedback in primary winding as well as the core size. So the primary winding is about 8 tons, the feedback winding is about 5 tons and the secondary winding will depend on the voltage you want. It can be anywhere from 80 to, to about 200 tons and this will be sufficient to operate a fluorescent lamp. The inverter, PCP and component placement is as shown. When winding the core, you begin with the frame of the transformer. Then you make the first primary winding, the 8 turns. Then you can add one layer of isolation, then make the 5 turns of the feedback winding. If you wind them in the same direction, it will be easier when connecting. Then you add like 5 layers of isolation with a good electric tape and make the secondary winding. As I had mentioned, the turns will be depending on the voltage you want and you can make for beginners, you can use from 20 turns or go all the way to 20 turns then you need to, when inserting the core of the transformer, you need to put some spacers you can just put a small tip, this will prevent the core from saturating and it will allow the core to easily oscillate then you will need to press the entire core together by putting a layer of tape all around it. With that being said, I hope you like this video. And if so, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode and I wish you a nice time.